Pristine darkness in every direction. Silence, but for the gentle, rhythmic slap of water on rock as your vessel cuts through. Overwhelming force pushes into your mind. The brain. It is here. Senses strung so tight they could snap in an instant.
is not over. assessed our encounter with the Netherbrain from every angle. I know why we failed. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an Amythid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine is. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prison to face the brain. Assimilate him? Skva! No! Now is the time to liberate him! Do not stand against me. You still don't trust me. After all we've been through. Remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid. Prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since, at no small cost to myself. I came to you as a leader, but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you, not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy, the same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential, all while protecting you from harm. And when you saw what I truly am, you did not reject me. You enjoyed me. Now I ask you for the last time to trust me. Release the Netherstones to me. Yankee would only want to kill you for what you are. Still, you choose to break our alliance. Even united, the Netherbrain was going to be an impossible enemy. But apart, we have no chance of survival. Very well. Since you will not work with me, you work against me. 
You leave me no option but to join with the Nether Brain. Stand aside. I will assimilate the Gityanki's power in your stead. Stop. You would keep my people chained to their damnable queen. I should have trusted my gut. Driven a blade through your throat at first chance. We have the means to free Prince Orpheus. And you side with Geich! You want Orpheus dead. You'll have to kill me first. Lies! You have been seduced by empty promises, Geich tricks! To think I ever hoped for more from you. You have damned my people for eternity. Assimilate Orpheus, and I will rip off your every limb and bask in your agony. By Gith's eternal grace, do it. We will end the grand design, and then we will go our separate ways. Do not judge me. Come, we must follow the brain's path. This time, we will not fail. I wasn't prepared. Come, Great it's Mother Gith, your son has fallen. The comet is no more. Nauseating spectacle aside, I hope we made the right choice. if the Netherbrain sparks the grand design. No more. 
all mods. I gave you my trust, and you failed me. Katala Krithmaha! if the netherbrain sparks the grand design. Mother Gith, hear me. Yes, Githka Tavki crush it. Time slows to a crawl while he scrutinizes you. In his eyes, his people's past and future. Fighting as he tries to understand the true path, the right path, the weight of responsibility heavy upon him. The enemy of my enemy is no friend to me. But I cannot let the Geich Empire swarm the astral plane. I will spare you. In fact, I will help you. But when the brain withers, so too does our alliance. It will not just be Vlakiv that hunts you, once the embers of battle cool down. Thank you, Voss. Spare me your thanks, a Sharlak. Now go. I stand at the ready. There it is. The crown. The very thing that has been... That... Well, that's just disgusting. <laughs> Pride of Boulder's Gate. The rat catcher. The false daughter of darkness. Shunned by God. The hatchling who rejected her queen. You are spectacular specimens. You will make spectacular brawls! <laughs> Oh. 